everyone, welcome to our distance learning discussion on grade 9 math facts, quarter 1, week 3a. The objective of this module is for you to be able to solve equations convertible to quadratic equations, including rational algebraic equations. Once equation transformed into quadratic equations, you can apply different techniques in solving it. These are extracting square roots, factoring, completing the squares, and using the quadratic formula. There are times that the first three methods failed fail to solve quadratic equation. The use of quadratic formula is a technique that never fails in solving quadratic equations of any form. Starting with the general generalizations we have here we have to take note that an extraneous solution is a number obtained when solving an equation that is not a solution to the original equation that means that there might be some values of x that appears to be a solution but when verified it is not so example one here illustrates an equation that when converted it boils down to a quadratic equation. And then the technique in solving quadratic equation can be applied. A few reminder: the solutions of the quadratic equation must satisfy the given equation. And you may substitute these values to x of the given equation and simplify. And don't forget to check your answers. For example 2, the given equation is x squared plus 2x equals negative 1. Transposing the constant negative 1 into the left-hand side will give us actually a perfect square trinomial. And when solved using factoring method, we end up with a solution x equals negative 1. We only have 1x but we have a quadratic equation. Now we have the term multiplicity. In this particular example, the multiplicity of x equals negative 1 is 2, meaning the value of x, which is equal to negative 1, is used twice in solving this quadratic equation. For example 3, we have here the expression inside like x minus 2 quantity squared plus 2x equals 7 times quantity x minus 2. The process is here presented and we end up with values for x equals 6 and 3. And when verified, it makes the quadratic equation true. Let's proceed with exercise 1. There are 5 numbers here. So it's we have to transform into a quadratic equation form and then let's solve for the values of x or the value of x that will satisfy the equation. So for our number 1, x times quantity x minus 5 equals 2. We transpose the constant 2 on the left hand side giving us x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. We cannot already factor this. It's already in factored form. Or we can call this as prime polynomial. So we end up with using quadratic formula. So recall that the quadratic formula in solving quadratic equations is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, going back to the quadratic equation, x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. We have a, that's the constant term of the leading coefficient x squared. So, we have 1. Then b equals the numerical coefficient of the x term. And b here is negative 5. And the constant term c is negative 2. Substituting the values of a, b, and c in the quadratic formula, we have 
x equals 5 plus minus square root of 33 all over 2. So for the answer, expected output, this can be seen in the answer key. So the transformed equation is x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. And the values for x that satisfies this quadratic equation are 5 plus square root of 33 all over 2. And the other one is 5 minus square root of 33 all over 2. Moving to on to, to exercise 1, number 2, we have 3x times quantity x minus 2 equals 12x. Solution, we transpose 12x to the left-hand side. And we expand the left-hand side. We have 3x times x, that's 3x squared. 3x times negative 2, that's negative 6x. Then minus 12x equals 0. Common factor for these three terms is 3. But take note that we have to simplify here like terms. So we end up with 3x squared minus 18x equals 0. Then factor out 3x. The greatest common factor is 3x. So we have 3x times quantity x minus 6 equals 0. Then, the factors are in linear form. So, it could be 3x equals 0 or x minus 6 equals 0. Solving for x in 3x equals 0, we have x equals 0. And x minus 6 equals 0, then the value of x is 6. So, the expected answer would be 3x squared minus 18x equals 0. And the values for x are 0 and 6. For number 3, exercises 1, we have quantity x plus 9 squared equals 121. The solution is, we expand the left-hand side. So we have x squared. Then the middle term is x times 9 times 2. That's 18x. Then the square of 9 is 81. Then minus the transpose constant term from the right-hand side, we have negative 121 equated to 0. Combining terms, we ended up with x squared plus 18x minus 40 equals 0. And we can factor this as quantity x plus 20 times quantity x minus 2 equals 0. Then, x plus 20 equated to 0 we have value of x equals negative 20. Or, x minus 2 equated to 0, we have x equals 2. The required answer is x squared plus 18x minus 40 equals 0. And the values for x are negative 20 and 2. Number 4. Quantity x plus 2 squared plus quantity x minus 3 squared equals 9. Solution. We expand x plus 2 quantity squared and that's x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then expanding quantity x minus 3 squared. That's x squared minus 6x plus 9. Transpose 9 on the left hand side. From the right-hand side of the equation, then we have negative 9. And this expression equated to 0. Combining like terms, we have x squared, x squared, 2x squared, 4x minus 6x, 2, negative 2x. Then we have 4 plus 4 because the 9 and the minus 9 become 0. Then copy, equal sign, and then 0. We have common factor 2, we take out 2, that we have 2 times quantity x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. Then divide both sides by 2, we have x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. 
this is a prime polynomial or in simplified form. We cannot complete the square. We cannot factor it. We cannot extract the square root. So we have to use quadratic formula. So using quadratic formula, we identify A, the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. The coefficient of B, or the x, it's negative 1. And the constant term is 2. Before we proceed in applying the quadratic formula, let us try to use the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So substituting, we ended up with this is equal, equals negative 7. Since the discriminant is negative 7, there is no real root. So the required answer in exercise number 4 of exercises 1 is x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0 and no real solution or no real root. Number 5. Quantity 3x plus 1 squared plus quantity x plus 2 squared equals 65. For the solution, we expand <clears throat> 3x plus 1 quantity squared. We have 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. Also expanding this, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then transform or transpose 65, we have negative 65 equals 0. Combining like terms, we have 10x squared, 6x and 4x, we have plus 10x. 1 and 4, we have 5, then minus 65 equals 0. Then... The 5 minus 65 here becomes negative 60. Then common factor or, yes, common factor here is 10. Take out 10. We end up with x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Dividing both sides by 10, we have x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. And factor, factoring out, we have quantity x plus 3 times quantity x minus 2 equals 0. Solving for x, we have x equals negative 3 and 2. So the required answer is written here. In exercises 2, we are asked to find the roots of the given equations. Number 1, quantity x plus 2 squared equals 64. For the solution, we have extracting the square root of both sides. Then we ended up with x plus 2 equals plus or minus 8. Then equating x plus 2 to positive 8 gives us x equals 6. Or equate x plus 2 equals negative 8. Then we ended up with x equals negative 10. The solutions are x equals negative 10 and x equals 6. Number 2. Quantity x minus 5 times quantity x minus 12 equals 0. This is pretty easy. So for the solution, we have equate x minus 5 to 0. This will give us x equals 5. And equate x minus 12 to 0 gives us x equals 12. The solution x equals 5 or x equals 12. Number 3. x squared equals 4x. Solution. Transpose 4x on the left hand side. We have x squared minus 4x equated to 0. Both terms has x. Take out x. So we have x times quantity x minus 4 equated to 0. So x equals 0 or x equals 4. Number 4. 2x squared minus 10x plus 24 equals x squared. Solution. Transpose x squared on the left hand side. This becomes 2x squared minus x squared. Then minus 10x plus 24 equated to 0. This becomes x squared. Minus 10x plus 24 equals 0. Factoring it out, 
we have x minus 6 times quantity x minus 4 equals 0. This give us, gives us the value for x equals 6 and x or x equals 4. Number 5. x times quantity 6 minus x equals 8. Solution. We expand. So we have 6x minus x squared equals 8. Then we have to equate it to 0 all the terms on one side and 0 equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. We can factor out this expression. So the factors are x minus 4 times quantity x minus 2 equals 0. So the values for x that will satisfy this quadratic equation are x equals 4 or x equals 2. We are now to answer the numeracy scale. So solution, let me present it to you here. We have to complete the table. So fraction 1 half, that is equivalent to 0.5 or 0 0.50, 50%. Then what is the fraction form of 0.25 or 25%? That's 1 fourth. Then we have 3 fifths equals 0 0.60, 60% in percent form. <clears throat> 1 fifth, that is 20% or 0.20. And 1 8, decimal form is 0 0.125, and the percentage is 12.5. That completes our solution for this module. Thank you and God bless.